Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you another um, video for the Legion playlist for Horus Heresy. This time we are tackling the White Scars, the Sons of Akan, um, and as of reading the Siege of the Horus Heresy, a Legion which I have much more respect for. So I am excited to bring you this video. Let's get into it. Okay, getting stuck into the White Scars uh, pink tutorial. Um, I obviously built the miniature and sprayed it with Gracier spray. And the first thing I did was gave it an all over coat of Apothecary White Contrast. This was just to push the, uh, the tones of the white a little bit and add some shade and depth into all the cracks and crevices of the miniature, all the different splits in the armor panels. It's a very quick scheme, you don't need to worry if it's going to be blotchy or anything like that because we're going to be going over this later on anyway. But it just kind of starts the whole process make sure we don't miss any bits with the spray or anything like that gives a really nice foundation to uh to work from the next thing we are going to do is move over to um blood angels red contrast and we're going to use this to fill in the red parts of the miniature so i went for um, a knee pad and then obviously the two shoulder trim some white scars have kind of spiked or triangle designs up and down legs, all that kind of stuff. If you guys want to go ahead and do that, feel free. I feel that slows down the process, that kind of freehand thing. I prefer to just pick out specific panels on the armor and do them in red. I think you, you get the same kind of aesthetic, but it's, it's like less than half the work. Once the uh, red parts of the miniature were blocked in, it was then time to start working on the bolt gun. So we got some Black Templar contrast and basically hit the casing of the bolt gun with black. Once again, nice quick job. We're just getting all the base coats on before we wash the model. Um, using contrast as my base coats these days has saved me at countless hours in my painting. Lead belcher for all the metallic bits, uh, so all the extra bits on the bolt gun. And this guy also has um, the ring that goes around his helmet, but he also has a strip that goes down the middle of his visor as well. His Mark III visor has an extra reinforced section down the middle, so we hit that with silver as well, which is another really nice thing to break up the, the different whites, or break up the amount of whites, should I say. And then we did a Nolan Oil shade all over the miniature. I know once again, people are gonna be screaming, what the hell are you doing? This is mixed about 50-50 with water, um, which just helps it flow a little bit better. And it does just flow into all the cracks and recesses. It will, of course, still tint the miniature um, a light gray. That's totally fine. We're gonna be layering up all the armor panels anyway. But this will just add a layer of protection for the contrast paint. And we still have a really nice foundation to work up from. And as is tradition with my videos, if you've been watching along with the series, it's at this point now while I wait for the shade to dry that I'll get the miniature based. And I'll take this opportunity to talk to you guys a little bit. Okay guys, while the shade is drying, I'm going to get the miniature based as I normally do. I'll also take the opportunity to thank you guys for the continued support for me and my channel. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button below. If you have any questions about anything I've done in this video or any previous video, you can drop them in the comments below and I'll go back to each and every one of you guys. If you see real value in what I do and want to support me and the success of the Media Copy channel, there's links to things like my Patreon below. Thank you guys so much and let's get back to painting. Okay, with the shade all dry and the miniature based up in my patented Martian scheme, which I'm doing all the Legionnaires in it because I can't wait to see 18 models all based the same, all the different Legions at the end. It's going to be very exciting. So I have an absolute love-hate relationship with white paint. I like how white paint looks. I hate applying it. Um, mainly because I was trying to struggle through with Games Workshop whites, which are just terrible. My solution I have found is going for much higher quality, higher pigmented paints. So I use the Chimera Colors White. It is like a heavy bodied acrylic style white. It has got so much pigment in it. Um, I work um, from a wet palette applying this white. And what this gives you in two quick coats of paint is absolutely staggering. You get an absolutely beautiful white coat. I did an entire video on this previously. 
and I painted up one of my Dark Eldar Shining Spear jet bikes with this and the results were stellar. You can of course just go and find yourself any nice heavy bodied white artist acrylic paint and it will be a much better uh, substitute white paint than most of the miniature painting ones out there. I've struggled with whites for a long time. I am looking forward to finding a miniature specific one that does the job amazingly. If you guys know of any specific miniature white paints that you would suggest and recommend to me, that would be fantastic. I'm of course using the Chimera Colors one. I will have a link down below in the description if you guys want to order yourself up um, a bottle of the white Chimera paint, if it's in stock. The uh, Chimera paints are usually fleeced from their website. I think that's just a testament to the quality of the paint. So this is it after one coat. Of course, it's still being a white paint, you're gonna get a few streaks and stuff like that. But we're of course gonna go on and get a nice second coat on the miniature. And as you can see, uh, when we start applying the second coat, it goes on super smooth and super clear. It is just a pearlescent white coat of paint on the miniature. I do my best to try and keep the paints used in a video cohesive to one range, um, but I don't think I would be doing you guys justice if I tried to struggle through using, say, Corax White to get a white scar miniature. So this is it after the second coat, and as you can see, the camera is struggling to deal with how white that miniature is. Next, we're gonna move over to Mephiston Red. We're gonna layer up all of those red parts of the miniature. Basically, his knee pad on his shoulder trims leaving some of that darker color behind in the recesses and just making that red jump. These are the kind of stages where you do need to get quite careful with your brush. If you don't want any of this red paint hitting that white, it will be incredibly difficult to repair. Whip out the wet palette on the Chimera colors again. Once again, I've mentioned in previous videos, but you'll notice that I never turn my right hand in odd angles to uh, paint a miniature. It's always the model that rotates around and my painting hand stays in its, in its kind of comfortable position so that I can get a nice um, clean lines and a steady brushwork. So with the red done, I added some transfers. I can feel a little bit more finished. Now we moved on to the bolt guns to finish that up. So we got some Corvus black, which is that gray tinted black that I've talked about in previous videos, which I love layering up blacks with. It just adds a little bit of depth to that flat black color, especially for someone like me who's a speed painter, who isn't going to go in and edge highlight the bolt gun after the fact. So whatever I leave it like after this is what it's gonna be left like. So the Corvus black definitely adds something to it. And then we're gonna go for um, a little bit of lead belcher paint is what we'll move over to next. And with that, we will touch up all the metallic parts of the model. So like before, it's all the different parts of the bulk gun that aren't black. And then that silver, yeah, I was gonna say gorgeous, but that's not what it is. The silver ring around his uh, helmet and that goes down his faceplate. Now one of the things that I tend to do personally when it comes to schemes like this, as you can see, I've done it with three of the Legion videos so far, including this one, or should I say two Legion videos so far, and now I will do it to this one, is schemes like White Scars and stuff, which, although the White Scars Legion is very cool, their paint scheme doesn't really excite me. It's too much flat white for me to really enjoy. So I'm going to weather up their armor a little bit, and I just think that adds a little bit of um, more interest to the miniatures. You can of course stop here and leave the miniature as it is right now, and you will have a pristine finished white scar miniature. Um, and so like that can be a beautiful way to, to uh, finish off your force if you want a parade ground level miniature. Of course, I almost forgot the eye lenses. During the lead belcher stage of layering, I also painted in the eye lenses with the lead belcher paint. And then I just throw a quick coat of Talazar blue over that and it gives you these beautiful blue glowing eyes. Okay, so for that weathering, we're going to be using Green Stuff World's weathering stick. It is a um, basically just a little sponge dispenser type thing. Um, if you have a little bit of extra case foam or you uh, an old kitchen sponge, you can tear bits off, you can do the same thing. This is just kind of um, for ease of use. You then load up the sponge with a bit of black paint, wipe off the, most, uh, the majority of it like you're going to dry brush and then just stipple the area you want to add the chip damage to. 
I always recommend going super light with this and doing multiple passes so you can control the amount of chips that you want to put on as opposed to overloading the sponge and then just end up putting big blobs on and parts that you didn't want to. So after I did it with the black, I did it even lighter again with the silver. Just cut some of the edges and added a few extra chips to the ceramite armor. And with that stage, I was delighted with the look of the White Scarf. I was still White Scarf's force. It would be one that was defending the walls of Terra. And I would want them to look like they were battered and had been fighting in the campaign for years. And with that, the painting tutorial on the White Scar is complete. Let me know in the comments below if you think I did a good job on this particular paint scheme. Um, let me know what you thought about the use of the Chimera white paint. And I hope you guys will stick around for next week's Legion videos. I believe I'll be doing the Ultramarine and the Word Bear next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.